When you go outside to measure snow, you should take multiple measurements on your snowboard. In this case, we measured 1.3 inches, 1.7 inches, and 1.0 inch for an average of 1.3 inches. Find the spot on your snowboard that has the average snowfall. Place your rain gauge upside down on your snowboard where the average snowfall is located. Pick up your snowboard and flip the gauge right side up. Now we are ready to measure water equivalent. Fill up your inner tube with hot water. In this case, we had 0.51 inches of hot water. Pour the hot water in the outer tube, then slosh the mixture around. Carefully pour the mixture back into the inner tube. Take the difference between the mixture and hot water to get the water equivalent, which was 0.06 inches in our case. Now it's time to take multiple snow depth measurements in your backyard. In this case, we measured 2.3 inches, 2.9 inches, and 2.8 inches for an average of 2.7 inches. Find the spot in your backyard that has the average snow depth. Place your rain gauge upside down where the average snow depth is located. Then carefully clear away the snow from around your gauge and slide your hand under the gauge. Flip the gauge right side up. Now we're ready to go inside to measure snow water equivalent. Fill up your inner tube with hot water. In this case, we measured 0.89 inches of hot water. Pour the hot water in the outer tube, then slosh the mixture around. Carefully pour the mixture back into the inner tube. In this case, we had over an inch. Carefully measure out one inch. Dump out your one inch amount. Carefully pour the remaining mixture from the outer tube into the inner tube. Take the difference between the mixture and hot water to get the snow water equivalent, which was 0 0.30 inches in our case. Go to the Kokoraz website and click login. Type in your username and password, then click login. Enter your water equivalent, which was 0 0.06 inches in our case. Then type into your notes that this value was taken from your snow core. Then enter the new snowfall amount, which was 1.3 inches in our case. Then enter the water equivalent, which was 0 0.06 inches in our case. Then enter the snow depth to the nearest half inch, which was 2.5 inches in our case. Then enter the snow water equivalent, which was 0 0.30 inches in our case. Then scroll to the bottom and hit submit data. The message of the day will pop up. Scroll down to make sure your report was saved. And then click log out. And that's it.